Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here, welcome to Enshrouded. Today, we're taking a first look at Enshrouded. This looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna tell you what I think. I think it looks Valheim esque. However, it looks like a good time. Um, and let's see. Let's go ahead and pick. Uh, who do we want to be? Oh, look at the chops on that guy. All right, we'll be this guy. I'm not really worried about it. So this is a free demo currently available. Um, I'm actually not even worried about what I look like. Let's just. Let's just. Oh, hold on a second. Where's the biggest beard that they have? This looks like the scrub. Well, that's really, you know what? Let's go with the chops. <laughs> we like the chops. The chops are fun. Uh, character, character, character. Oh, oh my gosh. We'll call him car charco. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and let's play this. Let's check this out. Um, now, like I said, this, uh, host private and join. Ooh. Okay. We're going to do a private game. Obviously I don't want anybody joining me. Um, it is what it is. But yes, like I said, it, from the video, from what it looked like, it looked kind of Valheim-esque. And there is uh, enshrouded, so there's there's areas that are not shrouded in fog, and there's areas that are shrouded in fog. And in the fog areas, there are enemies and there are nasty things um, that you can fight while you're down there. But you're only able to be down there for so long. So um, basically, you start off with nothing. You work your way up as far as tools go. You get swords, shields, bows. Uh, magical stuff like staffs and stuff, which is what I love. I love the magics. Okay. Looks good. Actually looks really good. It's a good looking game. I have to say so far. Now, again, this is a demo early access. So uh, bugs, things like that might have. Oh, what are we doing here? Comfort level one rested warmth. What do we do here? Commune with the flame. You slumber for too long, Flameborn. The realm of Emberville has fallen, consumed by the shroud. Now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. All right. So we've unlocked a flame altar, which I'm guessing guess is probably that thing right there. Oh my gosh. Yo, this looks so nice. A vast world awaits you filled with secrets and peril. Press M to open your map and track your discoveries. Oh my gosh, look at planes for first base. Oh, this is super nice looking. It is such a fantastic, I love this. Already loving it. Um, ooh. Claim a spot for your base. Okay, let's not just jump off the edge and die. <laughs> Maybe we'll go down over here. Oh, there's like a mine or something right there. What are these? Loot bandages. Uh, Take that and take that. I bet you we're going to have to go through here in order to get down there. And it's going to say, oh, you should use a torch. Oh, this is super cool. And there's like these little wisps. Oh. Can we light this one up? Use terraforming tools or explosives to forge a path to the rubble. Explosive powder balls can be thrown. Explosives barrels are detonated at range. <gasps> okay. So can I switch to this? That's cool. Wait, do I throw another one? Oh, it's, it is working its way through. <gasps> okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty neat. I'm not going to lie. Hey, we got a rusty sword. Oh, man, that is what we need. Uh, gather around. We're drinking an ode to the queen once young. Three bet. Um, okay. I'm sure that's a great song. <laughs> This is cool. Okay. All right. I'm already liking this. Now, this is an online player. Obviously, you saw me from the menu. Um, it looks, I think it said it's up to 16 players, if I'm not mistaken. So there's that. Uh, what do we got here? Some kind of like rocks or something. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So this is the shroud. Hold on. It looks like there's something over here. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little scared, a little puckered right now. The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. 
So having your torch helps you stay in the shroud. However, oh, is it taking me? Oh, I don't. I'm not. Am I ready to go down there? I don't think I'm ready to go down there. I mean, I have a sword. Um, hold on a second. Okay, before we before we do, there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of motion stuff. There was another way. There's another ladder. I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything because there might, there might have been like gear or something. Maybe I, maybe I have a shirt to put on or something that might give me a a little bit of protection. Okay, so like this guy. See, I don't see anything here. But you never know. There might be a chest up here. Oh no, this just takes me back here. Am I supposed? I I feel like I am supposed to go this way. I feel like this is the introduction into like the shroud and stuff, you know? Those guys can't be that hard, right? All right, we're going to go down here. We're going to see what happens. I'm curious to see the flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you'll perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Okay, so we're going into the shroud here. We have a flame. So now we're in shrouded. So we have five minutes. Press tab to lock onto your foes. Press control to dodge out of harm's way. Okay, so like this guy. Got you. Tag, you're it. Ooh. Okay, the combat feels good. Like, I was worried the combat was going to be a little, like, clumsy or something. Oh, my gosh. It, like, we just we just went straight to the other guy. Like, we were hacking and slashing. And we did, like, that sick jump move right into the... That's pretty good stuff. I like that. Okay, so we're good. We're good. That was easy. We, yeah, anybody can do that. All right. Oh my gosh, there's rams. What is this? If you fall, you'll rise again at your last reborn beacon. So I'm going to guess that that's my reborn beacon right there. This area is so, it's so good looking. It looks so good. So I love when, um, I love when games take a more three dimensional, um, approach to the landscape and stuff so like there's a lot of games where you know things there's the, the, the relative everything's relatively on the same plane you know and there's some hills and stuff like that you'll go up and down but like this is like things are built into like you know we're not even remotely on the same level and i love it i love it i feel like it's just a little bit it's just a little bit more realistic you know what i mean like if, if people were settled in this area they wouldn't just be able to uh, oh what is this long keep new location charted what is this? I wonder if this is one of the cities that we can rebuild or something. Hold the chamber for your last breath. These were the last words of the ancient one. Because from the um, from ooh, that looks like a beehive. That's probably not a good idea. From the video, it looks like you're able to like rebuild cities and stuff. And I wonder if this is like one of them that we can rebuild eventually. Maybe not. I I could be I could put oh. There's definitely a shroud over there, though. What's this? This is a mushroom. This is a mushroom. All right. So this is going to be our location of our first base place. <laughs> um, it said so. <laughs> the game says we don't have a choice. All right. So location reached. Claim a spot for your Base. Ember Bill has fallen, consumed by Shroud. Bring back the light and reclaim the land by establishing a flame of altar in the wilds. Flame of altar will mark the spot for your base. In your base, you'll be able to later craft a shelter. A promising site to establish a flame altar is marked on your map. Reach the location, craft the flame altar, and place it. Okay. Crafting. All discovered recipes for this crafting station are saved here. Uh, you can quickly navigate different categories by selecting these icons. Okay. Uh, here you can find the requirements and the ingredients for each recipe and you can notice the pin recipes oh you can pin stuff very nice all right so flame altar we need stone so let's go ahead and pin that so well how does one find stone um <laughs> all right so i mean here's a stone just sitting here well, they gave me three okay so oh all right easy enough Okay, so we're going to build our flame altar right here. This is where it wants me to build the flame altar. So crafting flame altar, craft, and uh, hold on. If I go to, okay, tab is not inventory, and I don't like that. <laughs> uh, okay, so hold on. What is this? 
stone. No. Crafting. Where's... Oh, right here. Swap that right there. Oh, there we go. Commune with the flame. You're not alone. There are other survivors. Uh, drowsy in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid you in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby, just outside of the shroud's grasp. Uh, okay. Upgrade altar. Extends, extend its build range. Gain global benefits. Extinguish the flame to remove. Extinguish the flame to remove your flame altar. Be aware. Areas not protected by the flame will be consumed by the shroud. Oh. Okay, so now find the sleeping survivor. So there's a sleeping survivor over this way. 400. Oh, wow. This is like a ways over here. It doesn't think I should like do anything else first. <laughs> Head straight there. You're going on a voyage. You're going on a journey. Uh oh. Oh, I was a little scared there. Okay, we got some bones. I guess I should harvest these berries along the way. Maybe I should take the path. Ooh, I don't know where he's at. Are we gonna go up to? Oh man! All right, so this here's the, here's another here's your example too. Another example. Uh, we've got these areas, bridges and stuff. But check this out. Like down there, that's all shroud and shrouded. Like we could go down there, and like there's there's reasons to go down there, and there's like bosses and enemies and stuff like that that we want to. Oh my god, that's scared. Oh, that scared me. Oh my god, we're looking at the shroud. I'm talking about big nasty things, and then this, this something just comes out of nowhere. And, oh my god, bites me in the butt. Literally bit me in the cheek. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Uh oh. How do I get? You can't proceed without a grappling hook. Seek a path through the shroud instead. Oh, fan. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, do I have anything that I can craft yet? So, like, crafting wise. Um, oh, I can craft a wand. Armor. Rags. String and tan cloth. Okay, hold on a second. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I mean, that. Hold on. Um, can I. Let's see here. How do I switch my hotbar around? Let's see, let's go to backpack. There we go. Okay, so I want to put sword, wand, torch, bomb. Okay, that'll work. I feel like it's about to get dark, too. What is that thing? Does this do nothing to it? Are you serious? Does this do zero damage? Oh, no, it does damage. It just has a... Why does it have such a short range on it? Isn't that the whole point of a wand is to like ranged damage? <laughs> All right, what we got here? The raiders have uh, besieged these past two days attacking from the bridge. Their eyes such madness we have withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I've ordered the to rig the pass with our last munitions. If the scavengers return, we are prepared. Okay. Oh, what do we have in here? Uh, we got some arrows. Take those. And we've got, oh, another thing in here. What do we got here? A wooden arrow. Oh, we can sleep. Oh, remember how I said I feel like it was going to get dark soon? Huh. Definitely did. I feel like we should probably go back to our base. Because, like, is does is the nighttime technically considered? Because, like, everything's getting foggy. Does that mean we're not safe? Do I need to go to my thing to stay safe? I have no idea. I am cold, though. It's because I don't have a shirt. Flame protected area. Okay, cool. Oh, good. So interesting. I wonder how long nighttime lasts. <laughs> so can we craft like an axe or anything like that? Is there like any... So we have axe and pickaxe. We need twig, stone, string. Where do we get string from? Ice bolt. Magical ammunition that creates a single bolt of ice damage. Oh, this is magical ammunition. Um, does 11 damage. Magical one carved out of bones, lifeless and cold. It shoots magical ice projectiles in inventory one. So it does 11 damage. Does it say, does it say what my, um, my sword does? My sword does 13. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to go around here. Oh yeah. There's definitely baddies out there. Let's see how well this wand works with this guy. It's all right. We got some torn cloth. 
Okay, so we got some twigs and some plant fiber here. Oh, wait a second. So these fireflies, you can loot them and you can get fireflies. How cool is that? Like these little lit up spots right here. Those are fireflies. That's pretty cool. I still don't know how to make string yet though. So I wonder if string is a um, is an item that we have to get like ourselves. Like we have to, it has to be collected. You know what I mean? Oh wait, resources, string. Oh, plant fiber. Okay, so there's that. And then hold on a second. There was axe. We need the axe and the pickaxe. Uh, well, if we had a pickaxe, we can get more stone twigs. You know, let's go ahead and craft that. And then hold on, where was that string? Okay, craft that again. And then we need a, um, where's our backpack at? Okay, so let's see. Let's grab ourselves the axe. We'll throw these down here for now. So we have an axe. So we need a pickaxe. So we need more, we need more twigs. Lucky for us, twigs are pretty easy. It's these little, <laughs> little trees. <gasps> what is this? Oh, just more fireflies. Okay, so now we can make a pickaxe as well. Let's go under our backpack. Let's throw that in. Okay, so we got an axe. We got a pickaxe. What else? Uh, let's see. What else can we get? So we did that. We don't have a bow yet. So I need more twigs and string. What do we need for a staff? Resin. Hmm. Don't know what that is. Oh, it's probably, you know what? It's probably going to be from a oh, workbench. String and wood logs. Was it about morning time? It could be about morning time. Let's go ahead and try our axe and uh, we'll chop down a tree. I bet you we get resin from chopping down a tree. So wood logs, lots of wood logs. Let's go ahead and chop down another tree. And we got two resin from that. Hey, daytime. <laughs> it's just instantly daytime. I don't have, I don't give out of my worry about that. I don't care. Um, okay. Hold on. And then we have, uh, oh, we can do the staff. Simple magical staff made from calcified bone, rudimentary, but effective staffs can be, can cast spells by using spell charges and mana, equip spell charges to cast. So that's a spell charge and I need water and shroud liquid in order to make ice bolts, which do 26 damage, which is pretty solid. Um, but I feel like, oh, hold on a second. Construction hammer workbench. Let's get the construction hammer. Oh my gosh. This is probably gonna allow me to build a base now, right? Oh, look at that. Okay, tab enter building mode. Oh, select the shape with what you want to build with. Select the material you want to build with. Open a sub menu to select different shapes and categories. So, control and scroll wheel lets me select materials. But I have to craft with stone it looks like but then we have like walls window that says it's a door frame this is like a foundation deal interesting that's pretty cool all right i feel like do we i feel like we should go try to rescue this person i don't know if we're ready but we'll figure it out i guess we're gonna take out this dog again Got him. Giving them bones. Hey, we got some meat too. Oh, you know what? I don't need to pin. Um, hold on. Flame altar. Let's go ahead and unpin that. I don't need that anymore. We did, we did the thing. We did the thing. We're good. Find find the sleeping survivor. So I think this is an NPC that we can bring to our village. Maybe. I don't even know. This is gonna be. This is probably gonna be an instant death trip for us going down in here. But oh yeah, more torches. Uh, we were hungry, had to take chances on a horrible shroud. All right. Well, they went into the shroud. Probably wasn't a good idea. They never came back. I love the idea of the shroud though. Like this whole, this whole, like, I love, it's so cool. Very neat. Um, stay on the path. Least the shroud can take you. Salvation lies straight ahead. Oh my God. Oh, this guy's a little bit harder to kill. This hourglass capsule replenishes your remaining time in the shroud. It c it's consumed upon use and cannot be stashed in the inventory. Oh, so that gives us more time to stay here. 
That's cool. <gasps> Ooh. Can I craft my um Oh my gosh, this is this is very neat. Um hold on. Can I craft my my staff now? Staff craft. Ha! Ah, staff craft. Uh backpack. Let's see. Let's get our staff in here. Um let's put the staff in here. Then how do I Oh, okay. Very neat. All right, so let's hold on. Let's just take a look around here and we'll uh, we'll use that little cash thing here in a second. Oh man, there's like these wiggling sacks of disgustingness that I just don't like. It gives me a really uneasy feeling. Oh, corn cloth, very nice. All right, so let's hit this. All right. We're going to go we're going to stick with our ranged weapon here. I want to I want I really want to try this out cuz it says it does like 26 damage. So that's like twice what my um sword does oh looks like we're coming back out that wasn't too bad of a trip just a little shroud act so is this shroud too no this is not it looks like it's it's like shroud starting to take over but it's like not shroud i don't know oh yeah we literally just had to go across the bridge i bet you we can get back across the bridge now okay so oh oh my god oh, you stupid dog Oh my gosh, these things come out of nowhere, I'm telling you. I was looking at that, dude. So, isn't this what I came out of? Bushes can conceal you when you're within them. Press C to crouch. Um, and that dude looks like he's harvesting something out of these. Oh, we're using this. You're dead. Oh, well, shoot, you're not. Okay, why did that not work? Holy snap. <gasps> Holy moly. Okay, those guys do a lot of damage. Oh, well, poop. Those guys do a lot of damage. I mean, that was all the way over there. Uh, oh, well, it won't take us long to get back over there. We're getting over there. We're going to save that guy. Okay, so the um, this. Does this have a cooldown? I almost wonder if it has a cooldown. Oh, shoot. There's another big guy right there. He's got like some giant like thing too. He's got like some giant crossbow looking thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna leave that guy alone. We're gonna hope that this guy up here was the only the last guy here. And we're going to open this and take all where is he at okay so i see one okay is there any more Whew. yeah it definitely looks like they're eating the people that were in these things i'm just saying that's not cool okay so we got some metal scraps all right so we're going in here my staff is by far my best weapon Ancient Vault Blacksmith. Oh, shoot. See, this is what I don't understand. Holy moly. It's like it has a cooldown. Oh, it has mana. That's what it is. Oh, it's the mana. I forgot. Okay, I forgot there's a mana cost associated with this. Holy moly. That's kind of weird. I, I feel like if it uses a, um, if it consumes an item, that it shouldn't really be using mana. That if it's using mana, it sh that should be a, its source of power. You know what I mean? But that's just me. I don't know. Okay. This place is slightly terrifying. Done the cinder vessel is delicate contraption, still volatile, yet burning with potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype the kindling of a new spark thankfully a blacksmith volunteered so basically what is this how come i feel like i'm trying to be i'm about to be attacked by this thing 
Yeah, there we go. Okay. Woohoo. Uh, so those guys were eating the people inside these capsules. I feel like that's what was happening. <gasps> we learned a summoning staff. Wait, what? Journal. Uh, okay. Find the sleep of the mark on your map. You'll have to venture. To okay, page two. Put them in your home with a summoning. Oh, place them in your home with a summoning staff. Okay, so I need to build a summoning staff and then I can place them anywhere I'd like. Okay, all right. Well, let's get at what is this? When you need to rescue and fast travel back to your home by opening M, navigate to your home. It's like, oh, wait, what? You could fast travel to your fast travel. <gasps> oh, that's so nice. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. Okay, I'm supposed to commune with the fire. This survival will be worthy addition to in our cause. Place them into the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft from simple twigs. Okay, so if we go into here, crafting, summoning staff, craft that, and then let's go ahead and grab, wait, where is, do we not have a summoning staff? Oh, we don't have a summoning staff. Okay, so backpack. All right, so I don't need, well, yeah, the build hammer probably, I don't need all these torches down here. Or that thing of meat. Summoning staff. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. How do I place him? Why do I keep running? Stop it. Hey! hey! You're a lot bigger of a guy than I, <laughs> than I am. Um, hi, my friend. At long last I return, I am humble. I am a humble blacksmith at your service. Let's prepare you for what's to come. Uh craft. Crafting first gear. <gasps> Ooh, charcoal kiln, forge, nails, felling axes, pickaxes, lock pick, scrappy sword, spiked club, valiant shield. We got some armors. Ooh. <laughs> Took you long enough to find me. Look at you. Uh, weak and puny, and they call you a flameborn. First thing you need is a weapon. Lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword or a spike club will serve us well. Okay. That's cool. I long lost our return. Very neat. So basically, we can go around and start saving people and start building up stuff. Forge a weapon. Now, uh, okay, so if I go to J. Quests. Uh, you can craft a new weapon at the blacksmith. Craft with him to create a scrappy sword or a spiked club. Crafting the weapons requires metal scraps, which can be found in the world where dropped by scavengers. A spot for collecting metal scraps is marked on the map. The weapon also requires wood logs. Chopped down. Okay, so actually, I probably already have... I probably have some of the stuff that I needed. No, I don't. Um, I need nails. So let's craft nails so I can get a spiky sword or scrappy sword. Okay. And then I guess I need also. Oh, no, we already did that. And then. You have awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumming in the springlands. Um, okay. Flame protected area. And, oh, he has another. Does he have another thing for me? No. Oh, shelter, cleansing fire, glider. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. This is, this is amazing. But, um, that is actually going to end this first look at enshrouded now it looks like we have time here it looks like we have seven hours and 22 minutes of playtime allowed in this demo so um yeah if you guys want to see more make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't already and uh maybe we'll see you back here uh back here in a bit but yeah thanks again have a wonderful day see you in the next one bye everybody